Warren Reisenen from Trades Unlimited, host of House Talk on News Talk 960 KKNT. We've put together this informational DVD to explain exactly why it is that so many flat-roofed homes in the Phoenix metropolitan area leak and why they do not have to. This documentary deals specifically with wood-framed homes that are stuccoed. Here's a typical wood-framed stucco home in Carefree, Arizona that belongs to a couple named Tom and Jan. Let's take a look at this house. We see a foam roof that looks good. This roof was installed four years ago by a major roofing contractor that's been in the business in the valley for over 20 years. The problem is that even though this roof looks good, it was installed in a way that actually creates leaks. Lots of leaks. Let's see why. Okay, we're tearing off this brand new good looking roof for a couple of reasons. The main one is that the roof's in fairly small sections and by the time we expose all the roof to wall connections, there would not be a lot of area that was left. Why do we want to expose the roof to wall connections? Because water goes through stucco, period. When water gets behind stucco, it must have a way to exit the wall. When this roof was put on, the foam roofing material was foamed right up over the top of the metal flashings that carried the water from behind the stucco and dumped it out onto the roof deck. This method of roofing actually traps the water because remember they went up over the flashings. It traps the water inside the walls giving it no place to go except to eventually make its way inside the home. This shot here actually shows the water coming out from behind those walls when we removed the foam in this area and allowed the water to get out. Now, in normal circumstances, all that would need to be done is to expose the existing flashings and roof up to them, leaving the water away to exit the walls, or many times we need to make a cut in the stucco, slip some new flashing up under the stucco and tar paper, and roof up to the new flashings. In Tom and Jan's case, you can see that there are many voids in the paper that's behind the stucco. By the way, if you have any wood penetrating your stucco walls and stick frame construction, that creates a void in the paper and that too will cause leaks. Or if you're experiencing leaks around windows, usually the flashings around the window frame are improperly installed creating yet another void and another way for water to work its way inside your home or building. In this case, we needed to get some stucco people involved. We first roofed up the walls about a foot or a foot and a half. The stucco people are now installing J-Weep over our roofing material, which is foam roofing. The J-Weep has holes in the bottom of it to allow water to weep out from the walls. And as you saw, this was installed over our roofing material so that water will exit on top of the roofing material. Now you can see how they've installed bitchethane behind the J-Weep. Bitchethane's a rubber-like material with very sticky adhesive on the back side of it. This was not really needed, it was just used as insurance in this case. Now see how they're using building paper and tucking it behind the existing building paper for this area. In Tom and Jan's case, here on all the shorter walls, we're installing building paper up and over the top of the parapet walls to making sure that there are no voids left in that paper. See how they're fitting in the styrofoam first to bring everything out to the same thickness in preparation for the rest of the paper, lath, and stucco. So now we wrap the building paper up over the tops of the walls. And one more critical area of water barrier is the tops of the parapet walls. See how bitutane, that really tough rubberized material that you cannot tear with your hands, is installed on, t on the tops of these walls and detailed at all the vertical faces, making certain these walls will not leak anymore. Now we install the wire lath, and when that's done, the new stucco is put on, which we did not video in this case because that part is not really important. What is important is that with the moisture barrier properly installed on these walls and the roof to wall connections properly done, Tom and Jan will not have to worry about their roof leaking anymore. And for those of you that own territorial style homes, stick frame stucco construction, 
and they've leaked forever. Just, you know, something seems to pop up here, there, or wherever. They don't have to leak. They can be fixed. We can help you at Trades Unlimited. Give us a call at 480-483-1775 or check us out on the web at tradesunlimited.com. And remember, we also do window replacements and remodeling. And uh, Saturdays, when you can hear me talking on the seven-year-old house talk show on KKNT 960 AM. There, folks, thank you so much for looking at this, and I hope that it was a help for you.